Hello guys, welcome back. I was just looking at the first chapter and um, I decided I'm going to do it sitting down. Um, it's a very cut and dry chapter, you just have to read it. It's not very um, not very conceptual. It's very um, cut and dry like I said. Um, there are a few things I would like to um, point out for you. Chemistry is um, very intertwined, you could say. Everything fits together in one way or another. It's not like, I don't know what to compare it to. Well, I can't think of an example. But it's not very black and white, right? It's not like you have black here and white here. And you can see the, the, the dividing line. It's not like that at all. There's parts where it intertwines and it's gray. And you have to know when to, um, you have to have very specifically, and um, you have to have good intuition and good practice and good knowledge of chemistry to know when it's black, when it's white, and when it intertwines. I hope I'm making myself clear. You will hopefully see what I mean as your studies in chemistry proceed. One thing to know is um, a very basic but I believe was very helpful for me is just the definition of chemistry what is chemistry what is what is the purpose of you learning chemistry chemistry basically is the study of matter and the interactions it has the interactions it um, undergoes with um, with other matter um, and the interaction, it sounds very, um, like, very bland, you could say. And that's what I thought first. It's very bland. But there's many ways that, and there's many aspects that you need to learn. There's how fast it reacts, which is kinetics. How it reacts, which is um, the mechanism. And um, different um, concepts of it. Yeah, so quickly going through, one thing I didn't want to point out that I got confused about was elements and atoms. What's the difference, right? And the way that I thought about it was, um, think about a bucket of ice cream. The, the bucket of ice cream, the flavor of the ice cream is the element. You have a type of ice cream, vanilla, that's the element. Now the atom is just specifically one scoop of it. That's basically what I've... Um, what I've been taught and what I've read that the difference is practically the same you know just one word compared to another and another one was molecule and compound a molecule can be both of them are clusters of atoms okay a molecule can be the same atom so say a molecule of oxygen which is O2 a molecule of oxygen has two oxygen atoms bonded together that can be that's a molecule okay but a compound a compound has to be two different kind of atoms so say co2 carbon dioxide is a carbon and two oxygens that's a compound so in a sense a molecule cannot be a compound but a compound can be a molecule hope that makes sense to go back to my example Oxygen is a compound and a molecule, but carbon dioxide is only a compound, not a molecule. That's basically it. The rest of the chapter is just cut and dry reading. I really recommend that as you read, really try to understand what you're reading and really get these basic definitions because these are the definitions and the concepts, the basic ideas that you're going to use throughout the book. So this is the foundation, you could say. I am going to make a video on dimensional analysis because I believe it's very important. And yeah, that's it. See you in the next video.